Now, um, another Berlin-based startup company, very famous startup company called Unicos, and this uh, gentleman and friend is called Moritz Missling. You are the head of project finance. Welcome to EcoSummit. Thank you very much. My name is Moritz Missling. I'm head of project finance with Unicos, and I have the great pleasure today to introduce you to this company. Um, Unicos is based in Berlin. Uh, as Jan already mentioned, and our aim is, so to say, to um, provide the technology to allow for a 100% renewable energy system. Um, what we do is um, we combine hybrid storage, which means different um, battery storage technologies with the appropriate energy management systems in order to give a grid balancing, a secure and reliable grid. The company was founded by two pioneers of the international photovoltaic industry, also co-founders of uh, QCells and Solon. Um, what we obviously also aim for is uh, generating a pure business model for renewables, which works without any kind of subsidies. We have two major um, product lines which we are supplying, which is uh, renewable island systems, which is our, our off-grid systems, I'll come to that later on, and on the other hand, um, uh, on-grid battery parks. The challenge that we see today, if we take a look into the future, and it doesn't really matter which kind of uh, research you, you uh, look at, is if you want to go for a higher percentage of renewable energies, you will have to take a very serious look at grid stability and how to incorporate these um, renewable technologies into the grid. Um, as you know, the current grid is primarily driven by rotating masses, which gives it its stability. Um, and we see from all our experience and research that we did that there is a natural, so to say, headroom which you can reach. So with the current system, you will have, um, let's say, more or less 20% uh, which can be fed into the system of renewable energy which, without uh, risking the grid stability or without intervening into this kind of system. Um, <clears throat> and our renewable-based uh, energy systems shall break the dependence on fossils, obviously, and also supply the technology for the new grid that we need. When talking about technology, uh, as we said, we are primarily supplying energy systems, which is um, software, but we also have a technology center where you can take a look at the real hardware. This technology center allows us to simulate every grid, um, which is uh, important for Unicos to take a look at, so we can simulate island systems uh, on different um, storage technologies. We have in our system in Atlashof, which is in the east of Berlin, so three minutes ride from here. We have a hybrid battery park, which consists of a one megawatt sodium sulfur, that's an NGK battery, um, and a 200 kilowatt lithium ion from Samsung. We can simulate transmission grid of up to 14 kilometers, and we are currently simulating um, an Azorian island called Graziosa. Of course, we have wind, solar, load simulators, everything we need in order to test our systems and, and show this to our customers. We also have a battery test laboratory. Um, actually, in the recent past, we tested every reasonable uh, battery cell um, which can provide the technology that we need for our systems and have a very good idea of what technology is in the market and what can be used in order to reach the aim of 100% renewables in the grid. Furthermore, the technology center is used for, uh, as I said, supply qualification, grid simulation, also technical due diligences, and employee and partner training. Give you an idea of all the services that we have, and also I would like to introduce you to three projects, just to give you an idea of the span of different things that we are doing. Um, our services actually comprise nearly everything from energy system analysis, which also incorporates feasibility studies for island grids, for example, 
up to system management and monitoring, which is um, more or less operating the complete energy off-grid system or on-grid system, um, including project development, um, detailed engineering and planning uh, together with the customer. A project one is what we call the Vattenfall project. This is um, a picture from our technology center. Uh, these are the batteries, the one megawatt um, natrium sulfur batteries from NGK. Uh, they are actually integrated into the German grid. They are pre-qualified batteries, the first in the world, um, and they serve uh, in the primary regulation market. The system was put into operation uh, in December of 2012, uh, and since then it works perfectly and um, without any disruptions in the German grid. We are working together with Vattenfall as an experienced partner, um, and uh, they are happy to evaluate these kind of new technologies with us. Second is the Wehmark project. Wehmark is a German utility. Uh, this is a five megawatt battery park, uh, which will commence operation mid-2014. We already started to build the systems. Uh, it's a lithium-ion technology. The battery is supplied by Samsung. And with this system, Samsung provides a 20-year performance guarantee, which is only true in combination with our management system. So this gives you an idea of how major blue chip players evaluate Unicos um, and um, yeah, view our, our quality of work. So this is also a system which works in the primary uh, frequency regulation. But of course, if you are a utility, you can use this kind of batteries for a lot more other things, or what we call balancing services, uh, including inter alia, black start capability, short circuit power, eye landing mode, also, if you are running lots of renewables in your system, it can work as a storage for your, um, for your virtual um, power producing units, right? For wind parks, solar parks, and so on. So um, the advantages are that the battery is much faster and much more efficient in uh, delivering the balancing work, but also uh, it does not cause any must-run requirement. Last but not least, the Graciosa project. This is a pure island project. Uh, Graciosa is one of the Azoran islands, so in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. And um, as you can see here, what we are aiming to do with this project is to provide for 100% renewable generation. Um, the project will actually have more than 60% of total annual consumption uh, su supplied by renewable energy. Uh, and it will be competitive against the current system. This is very important in order to show that we are talking about uh, sustainable business cases, not about theory. This system actually um, wins against the fossil fuel-based system. Uh, give you some ideas of the numbers. It's um, designed for 4,500 inhabitants, has a peak load of 2.5 megawatts with a consumption of uh, 14 giga per annum, consists of uh, 5.4 megawatt in wind, one megawatt solar, and a 2.5 in the hybrid system again. Um, we believe that the question for the right battery technology is more or less the wrong question. Um, you know that there are different kinds of batteries, and every battery has a very good uh, application, but typically what we see in the market is that what we need uh, should be put together from different kinds of battery technologies. So what we developed is a management system which allows to combine different kinds of technologies. And this is exactly what we do here with um, natrium sulfur and lithium iron. So at the end, I just want to share some key learnings with you um, to maybe think about, um, which is when thinking about um, uplifting renewable energies to 100% in the grid, uh, obviously, ro rotating masses, which are currently stabilizing the grid, can be switched off. That's what we already proved in our technology system, what you can see. Um, and they need to be switched off in order to leverage uh, and increase renewable energy pe penetration. It's actually the condition precedent to do so. And that's what we show. Um, 
And a grid with less rotating masses obviously needs a much, much faster and a much more sustainable regulation. This is also what we do with our systems. And last but not least, um, we proved with Graziosa, which is already um, checked by the local authorities and energy supplier, that with only four hours of storage capacity, we can um, more or less guarantee up to 70% renewables on the island grid. So leave that as it is. Um, please feel free to have a chat later and uh, end with our claim, which means let the fossils rest in peace. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you very much, Moritz. Do you have a question quickly for Moritz? What is the volume of the Graciosa project altogether? In terms of, uh, um, it's roughly 25 million euros total investment.